The hero returns. I cannot thank you enough for saving young Ymanolaine's life. Aye, aye, he told me everything. I've also received letters from both House Zamile and Durandair praising your conduct and that of House Fortong. You've won as much honor, my friend. My lord! What is it? Speak. Pray forgive the intrusion, my lord, but I, I bring grave tidings. Master Alfano and Mistress Tataru have been detained on suspicion of fermenting heresy. What? Explain. They... they were observed entering a tavern in the lower levels, on some half-dozen occasions. There, it is claimed, they made a number of inquiries. Inquiries which brought them into contact with certain... Um, elements. It was this which prompted a Knight of the Heavens War to demand that they be questioned. Sir Grino, my lord. Sir Grino is a brute. An exceedingly accomplished brute, but a brute nonetheless. Alas, he is also a son of House Zamayo. How quickly we forget the petty nature of men. I'd wager your friends are no more than pawns in another of my countrymen's games. Such is the way of things between the high houses.
We are gathered here today under the watchful gaze of the Fury to ascertain the guilt of two souls in a trial by combat. Petitioners, step forward. Sir Grino, for the benefit of all here present, I would ask you to repeat the charges which you have leveled against this man and this woman. I, Sir Grino de Zemile, brother of the Heaven's Ward, did bear witness to these two foreigners consorting with heretics. Let the accused step forward. Alfino Leveilleur, Tataru Taru, you have heard the charges leveled against you. Will you take up arms to refute Sir Grino's claim and thereby prove your innocence in the eyes of gods and men? I, Alfino Leveilleur, am innocent of this charge and claim my right to trial by combat. Taru Taru, I'm innocent of this charge. But I am no warrior and cannot fight. So I claim the right to name a champion. To the old and the infirm, the young and the weak, this right we allow. Very well. Who will stand for this woman? Just as I was beginning to doubt the efficacy of the Ishgardian justice system. Come, my friend. Let us put an end to this mama's farce. Render unto us your judgment. Raise up the righteous and cast down the wicked.
Your Eminence, it is my honor to present to you the Warrior of Light. I have heard the tales of your many grand endeavors. The Lord Commander has also been most effusive in his praise. I am Thordon VII, Archbishop of the Ishgardian Orthodox Church, and I bade you come here that I might offer my personal apologies. You will forgive me for not calling upon you as courtesy would dictate, but as you can see, my more sprightly days are long behind me. But I digress. Your companions were wrongly accused of heresy and subjected to gross indignities. This, I am sorry to say, was the result of negligence on the part of our nation's protectors. Negligence born of an excess of zeal. Is that not so, Sir Zephyrin? Yes, Your Eminence. Regrettably, it would appear that we of the Heaven's Ward were in receipt of erroneous information. Sir Grino has ever been headstrong. He pressed charges before the truth had been ascertained, for which I most sincerely apologize. An unfortunate misunderstanding born of an earnest desire to serve Ishgard, but one which should never have occurred. For who could doubt the character of those who bested Shiva and drove the Horde from the steps of faith? Not I, that much is certain. That will be all, Sir Zephyrin. I would speak with our guest in private. Your Eminence, I... As you wish, Your Eminence. That will be all for today. Privacy is a luxury rarely afforded one in my position. Now tell me, young lady, what do you know of the Asians? Much and more, I shouldn't wonder, being the bringer of light. You should know that I myself have met with them have entertained them as guests, even. Those harbingers of chaos and strife offered us power that we might continue our war against the dragons. I have no intention of aiding their cause, of course, nor less of being their puppet. Yet, were I to refuse them outright, I should learn naught of their true objectives and remain powerless to stop them. Thus have I hearkened to their words with interest and paid lip service to their beliefs, biding my time and preparing for the inevitable conflict. And why do I tell you this? Because there is naught in this world they fear more than the power of the Warrior of Light. If we are to rid ourselves of these vile interlopers, we must need work together. With our combined strength, I have faith that we can wrest Eorzea from their grasp and pave the way for a lasting peace. Think on it.
there you are. I confess, I was more than a little concerned when I learned that you had been summoned to the vault. What did they want with you? Well, well. A formal apology and an admonishment of those responsible. I see my fears were wholly misplaced. By the gods! The Archbishop freely admits to consorting with Asians. So, their ambitions extend to Ishgard as well. We will have new primals to contend with ere long, of that you may be certain. Tis but a matter of time. Yet shorn of the support of our missing allies, what can we realistically hope to achieve? <gasps> In the midst of all the excitement, I completely forgot to tell you. When I was asking around about the Scions, I heard the most awful rumor. General Rauburn is to be executed for crimes against the Sultanate! If the Flame General dies, we will lose a staunch ally, and the one man capable of holding the Sultana's assassins to account. Lord Orshifon was wise to counsel restraint, but this business will brook no delay. We cannot permit this execution to take place. We must save Raoban.